<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Dr. Wookie, have another boring video for you today. However, I have heard your <laughs> aggravating calls on Discord. I know everybody's been super annoyed by uh, the Founder Nodes version 3.1.2 and how when you install it on your Windows, it'll go down every day. So, I'm here to show you what I found is a workaround. Now, it might not be everybody's favorite, but what I have noticed is on Vulture and VPS, the Ubuntu has been super stable, 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 okay? And that's what we're looking for. We want that stability. We don't want to restart our node every day. So, did a little bit of digging, a little bit of research, figured out you could go ahead and run Ubuntu on your Windows PC at home, and it's as stable as that VPS Ubuntu, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna walk you through. It's not too, too difficult. I will say that uh, it's worked on all my computers that are that are newer. I do have a six-year-old gaming computer, was having some issues trying to get it to work on that one. So with that said, you know, in a month or two, once everything rolls out, your 10-year-old uh, laptop isn't gonna work anyways to uh, carry the workloads that need to be done. So be thinking about that, upgrading some of your software or something like that, okay? And we'll go ahead and say, oh, what the heck? Get out of here, Poro. Man, it always just bothering me all the time. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into the video and a quick walkthrough on uh, how to go ahead and uh, get those uh, nodes up and s functional. And you don't have to keep re 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 restarting all the time because it is just so <laughs> aggravating, of course. All right? All right. All right, so let's uh, jump into the process. So open up your uh, founder node here. You can see I have my Wookie PC Ubuntu. It's been very, very stable. Um, so first thing first, go ahead and just close out your Docker. Go down here, close out your Gala node. Go ahead and quit that. I like uh, quitting everything, making sure it's all shut down. So when we do the uninstall, it'll be clean. Now I do know for a fact you can leave Docker installed on your windows uh, if you want to leave it there um, but i like to keep things clean and simple so uh, we're going to go ahead and remove docker and we're also going to uninstall our gala node same thing not 100 percent sure if you really have to uninstall it but i like to remove everything make it really clean know that we're not going to run into any kind of issues all right so scroll up to the docker and uninstall that because I don't want it. I will say, if you have not done the uh, initial install, uh, you might run into an issue on this uh, quote fix uh, because you need to make sure your WSL dash or space two is installed. That is your uh, Linux uh, subsystem. And if you don't have that in installed, then that's going to be an issue. Um, and you got to have your, your, um, virtualization turned on already, which is in my other video at the beginning, how to do the BIOS and how to get that turned on. So um, this is now showing red because I already shut it down and I reinstalled stuff just to show you how to delete that. Now to make this clean, 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 you're gonna go to your user and I'm gonna go ahead and right click and delete Docker. And then if you can't see this app data, go to view, go to show, Hidden items, and it'll show up. Go to your app data, go to local, go down to Docker, go ahead and delete it. Push can that, go down to our Gala node. Oh, it doesn't even look like it started up here because I uh, I just I just, just reinstall it just so you guys can see me uninstall it. Super exciting, I know. But it looks like it didn't put anything in that one. It did go ahead and put some stuff in here. So just delete the Galano and delete the Docker. Now that's all clean. Now we're doing a clean, clean uh, slate, which is what I like. So first thing, we're going to be running uh, all this on in, in Ubuntu. So uh, what you're going to want to do is go to the Microsoft Store. This is like probably the first and only time I've ever gone to the Microsoft Store uh, to look for something. So you're going to type in Ubuntu. We're going to do our 20.04.5. So what this is doing is basically we're going to be running like a virtual machine um, instance on our 
um, desktop. Man, that installed so fast. That was beautiful. So that might take you a few minutes to download. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and just open it. And it's going to do its own install. And that'll take a few minutes. And so while it's doing that, so then it's going to ask you for to make up a uh, username. Make sure you write it down, whatever it is. And uh, make sure you write down your password if you're going to forget it. Now remember, you won't see your password being typed in there, but it is. As long as you did it right, that'll pop right up. Okay. So now we're going to go to, so you're going to go to docs.docker.com. You're going to go to engine forward slash installs forward slash Ubuntu. And so it's going to bring us here. As long as you don't have Ubuntu on, on your computer beforehand, you don't need to do this uninstall uh, portion here. So you're going to, just going to scroll down to this where it says set up the repository. And this is exactly where we're going to start some of our copy and pasting. So you're going to copy it. You're going to right click it. You're going to click enter. Oh, it wants our password. So don't want your password at the beginning. Then you won't have to enter it anymore. So it's uh, chunking all that out while it's doing that. I'm just going to go to the second one, click copy. Okay, it says it's done. So I'm uh, going to enter the next thing. Okay, doesn't have to say anything. I'm just moving along. I don't have any IT skill. I'm just copying and pasting. Okay, now we're going to go to the next one. Just follow along exactly like this. Copy, paste. Don't even need to watch it because we don't care what it's going to say. Copy. And it's done. Paste. Okay, you're going to have to click yes on that one. While it's doing that, we're going to go back to our Gal node. We're going to go to download. We're going to go to Linux. Going to go to this guy, open it up in a new tab. We're going to use the Linux install procedure along with the Linux installation instructions on here to kind of progress as we move forward. So this is all you got to do for this portion. So we're just putting Docker into our Ubuntu virtual machine here. So we're just waiting for it to finish. You are not going to do this last portion here. I'll show you what you're going to enter and what you're going to, how you're going to move on here. Okay, so it's all done. Now we're going to type in sudo docker d. Enter, let it run. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Once you see API listen on that exact thing, you're good. Close it. And now you're just going to reopen it. So we're going to find where our Ubuntu is. I'm going to right click it, pin it to my start, pin it to my taskbar. And that's so that I can easily get to it in the future. Okay. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to start with this very first line here. Copy. This is under your install the Galano software. Back to your window. You're going to paste it. It's going to ask you for your password again after we click enter. After you put that uh, password in, click enter. It's going to do whatever it's doing, blah, blah, blah. Once again, we don't care. We do not need to do this one. We already installed our Docker. It's already running, so we don't need to do that. We do not need to enable it. It's already running. You're going to come down to the number four one, copy it, and back to our window. So once this finishes, we'll go ahead and be pasting in this next piece. Um, once again, if you haven't installed it already on Windows before, you might want to watch that first video so you make sure your virtualization is enabled and your um, Linux subsystem is enabled as well. So we're going to paste our next thing in there. While it's doing that, we're just going to move on to the next thing. Notice how I'm not watching and waiting and doing a bunch of reading, right? I'm just going on to the next one. And that's just simply because I do not know how to do Linux. I know it looks all nice. Like, oh, man, I'm just following along, right? You see, I'm just copying and pasting. You click yes there. All right, now it's your API key. Most of you know how to do this part. Copy it. Paste it in, space, back to your Gala node, go to your API key, select whichever API key you want to use. I'm going to go back in here, paste it right in there, click enter, API keys saved successfully, perfect. Okay, so now at this point, we're actually going to go back to our Gala node area where the Linux is, because we already <coughs> are almost completely done. So see, this isn't taking too long. So now if you don't know what gallon uh, licenses you have or you want to double check, you can type in, whoops, 
you do want to always click sudo in here. So sudo gala node licenses. And it's going to tell me, oh, look at all those that I have. So now I'm going to do sudo gala node workload add. And we're just going to start with the first one in there. And that's all. doesn't have to gate tell you anything. It, it is already knows what you're asking it to do. So as soon as you put that in there, you just do the next one, do the next one. And you do it for whichever workloads you're going to be doing it on this machine. Obviously, then you're going to have to go to the other machines and do it again. Add film. All right, and that's all I have. So then after that, we're going to do sudo gala node start. Now, I'm sure I could have copy and pasted a bunch of that too, but no big deal. So I click enter, and that is it. So now you're just going to watch all this stuff, just, you know, having fun, loading up, getting all squared away. And uh, it's going to say gala node started, and that means it's going. After it says gala node started, this window, just like kind of your Docker, how that's been on your, your window, you can just minimize it, but it has to be up, open, and somewhere, okay? <laughs> so you always have to have this running. Um, so it's a gal no created. Perfect. We are all done. So now what you're doing is you're basically running kind of like almost a VPS Ubuntu virtual machine inside of your Windows machine, except now it will not go down. Okay, so the Ubuntu on Vulture and everything has been super stable. I've been running this for over a day already on my machines. It's been super stable. Before that, this machine was going down 45 minutes, 90 minutes, maybe six hours. Um, the Windows stuff has just been really unstable. So this is my workaround right now until they get a fix for the Windows, which might not be for a couple of months. I mean, they're super focused on Jiri and just the integration and all that stuff. So I don't know how high priority... Uh, figuring out the uh, the Windows issue is, but I'm sure there, I'm sure there's some folks working on it. But you know, you just have to understand the priorities right now with spider tanks and uh, everything else. So this is your workaround. Hope it's helpful. I've done this uh, install on uh, numerous computers. Those computers are newer. Um, I am having some issues with my uh, six year old uh, gaming laptop. Um, with some some Linux stuff that I don't 100% know uh, what it means. So I'd have to do a little bit of research on that. So it always is possible that you might hit a brick wall as well on this, which if you do, I apologize. All right, now you can see it's uh, showing up on our, our Node dashboard. This takes like 10 to 15 minutes, so don't, uh, don't worry. Uh, you know, when it says Gala Node created, okay, it's been created. You just got to wait. Wait, watch the Node dashboard. It's the easiest way. To see if your stuff's online. Obviously, this is all red now because this was the one that I did have running that I destroyed so that we could rebuild this one. All right, everybody. Hope that was helpful. So uh, hopefully uh, everybody or most of you can get it installed without too much difficulty. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, just shoot me a message or a comment or on Discord. And uh, I'll uh, try to see if I can help you through. Just remember, I am actually not IT, okay? I just... Uh, you know, figure out a little bit of uh, working around things to get stuff going because I don't want to be wasting my time every day working on the nodes. All right. So as always, stay warm, Wookiees, and I'll catch you on the next video.